Hey guys, Robert here from Team Ineke up in Willow, Alaska. A lot of you guys have been asking about the features of our dog truck. This is a 2002 Toyota Tundra 4x4 access cab, so it has the three-quarter doors. It has a 14-hole box. It is about uh, a 10-year-old box. We built it without any plans. My family and a couple of buddies and I got together on a couple of weekends and built it up. It is built all with three-quarter inch plywood on a custom-made bed made by my buddy Dan Schlossler over at Sled Dog Systems here in Willow. It is bolted onto the bed with just four large carriage bolts. That way, if we do have to take it off for any reason to replace the box or whatever, we can do that. The bumper system is again also built by my buddy Dan. We have our tie outs there that you can pull out and swing out on both sides. And we have a 14 dog tie out. It does have a receiver hitch on the bottom, a custom built ladder. And then up on top, if you guys can see it, we use old school Yakima bike racks that we have lined out for both sides of our sled. So it makes it easy in the winter to get up there and get them on and off. So that is that. So as you can see on this side, we have two fewer boxes and we have gear storage. And then on the bottom here, this big door is built only for the gas tank. So I'm gonna open that up so you guys can see. Right there, the gas tank access is there. And then here is our gearbox, kind of messy since it's in the off season, but we hang our harnesses and lines there. And there are the lights for these lights here that we're gonna replace this fall with some rigid ditch lights. So it's gonna be a little bit better lighting system, but this all in here will carry all of our gear. So our lines, our harnesses, our tie outs, a floor jack, jumper cables, pretty much everything that you need for access on the road. And then as we move forward on the truck, as I mentioned, it is a 2002. We've done quite a bit of work to it. We still have some work to go. I'll mention that in just a second. Here is our front bumper and tie out system with a couple old school KC lights that we're also going to replace with a couple of rigid lights this fall. We have a receiver hitch down here that we typically use with a bike rack in the fall. So we can do our dry land events up here in Alaska and moving around here. Otherwise, the truck is still in surprisingly good shape. It has about 260,000 miles on it. As you guys know, trucks like this are very expensive, especially up here in Alaska. Something like this would cost probably 14 or $15,000. And then we probably have, I don't know, three, $4,000 in modifications with the box. So. Let's open up one of these boxes. We have these wood slats that we use not only for footholds for the dogs when they're jumping out or into the box, but also the ability to lock this up if we are on the road at a hotel or whatever. So the boxes we clean out every summer just to get it all aired out. You can see that the boxes are quite large. We can put up to two dogs in each box. Uh, I said that it is a 14, do uh, 14 hole box, but uh, when we had to evacuate for the sockeye fire a few years ago, we had 32 dogs in this box. So it will hold every dog we have in our kennel. So some of the, do some of the boxes are in better shape than others. Of course, we do have some chewers, but this one looks pretty good now that I'm looking at it. And uh, all two by four, 
two by two and three quarter inch plywood construction. Of course, we'll use straw in the boxes to make the dogs a little bit more comfortable. And then we can put those footboards up for the dogs and for security. We do have some work that we still have to do on the truck. We have to do some axle work on the rear axle. It's about a $3,500 fix at uh, the shop that we use, Wasilla Auto Mall. Those guys have been excellent with us for the last decade or so. And we're thinking about putting some airbags for suspension on the rear. It still has the original shocks on this, but we have had it fully loaded and it does not drag. It looks like it's a little low right now, but we are on a little bit of an incline here in the kennel area of our property. We have all of our signage here. So our logos and a couple of our sponsors, quote unquote sponsors, those are all of our businesses, but they help support our mushing endeavors. So that is it guys, a 2002 Toyota Tundra access cab with a V8. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you will never miss an episode. We're gonna start a brand new feature here later this, this fall called a musher's moment where we're gonna do very short videos talking about the sport of mushing. So stay tuned to that and you will never miss an episode if you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.